And so I hope as we look at these texts, and they do cut, I'm sure they're cutting to your heart, even as they're cutting mine. As you look at these texts, I hope your gut instinct isn't to resent the blunt force of the text, but rather your gut instinct is to cry out to God for mercy and to beg that He'll have mercy upon you. So many hear texts like this, and then and instead of begging God for mercy and crying out to God for mercy, they simply become angry. Oh, I don't like this. This isn't what I signed up for. Don't like the way, the way this sounds, and I deserve to hear something better than this and, and, and go on their merry way. But the, the purpose of the text, the reason Jesus taught this way and was so clear is to use the cutting nature of the text, the blunt force of its impact, to reduce you to repentance, to, to empty you of yourself. There's nothing good in me. I, I bring nothing to God. So many, I think, come to God as if they're doing God a favor. Oh, what a nice person I am. I came to God today and, and did Him a favor. And what you need to learn in texts like this and throughout the Bible is that you do God no favors. You bring God nothing but your sin. And God brings you His grace when you are emptied of yourself and you cry out to Him for mercy. We are to be reduced to puddles of repentance. 